Bowie super coach. How are you? Coming to you this morning. I've got my little assistant with me. Hey Rox, how you doing? <laughs> there she is, loves it. Okay, let's talk about social media and digital marketing. This is an area of much confusion, an area of unnecessary funds spent, but also an area that if you crack the code and get it right, can provide a massive awareness campaign and can bring you one step closer towards becoming that attraction agent where you're connecting with a lot more people and your profile is disseminated across your core markets. So let's break it down. Firstly, in terms of creating content, you need to be adding value to the consumer. So if I'm a buyer or a seller, I need to be viewing and consuming your content, knowing that at some point, there's some value for me. So what some of those examples, it could be that I'm aware of a new listing that's being promoted and therefore aware of what the price range for that property is and the land size, what the accommodation is. If it's a property that's sold, great. If I'm a local owner or a local buyer, that's absolutely ideal information for me, but produce the sale price and obviously how the campaign went as well in terms of number of interest and what type of response and demographic of buyers that you're attracting as well. So if I'm a buyer or a seller in that marketplace, definitely high quality, just listed, just sold videos where the property is the showcase and not you are the showcase. However, you appear in it in order to be that gravitas trusted advisor type authority figure for your market, then that's outstanding. The other thing we need to look at is what are the different verticals of social media? So obviously Instagram is a tool, but that's not the platform that you wanna be using to either create ads or boost content. Now in saying that, can that be a great secondary option? Yes. But if we're looking at the meta universe or if we're looking at Facebook marketing or Facebook ads, then your go-to needs to be the ads manager platform. So that ads manager platform needs to be linked to a business page, a business Facebook page. When I say a business Facebook page, your business Facebook page as an agent, not necessarily your the business that you're working for, but you are a business anyway. Um, the whole idea of real estate is you create a business within a business, a brand within a brand. So if you're creating some ads through Facebook, the key points are to make sure that firstly it's video content because static content is far less effective and the algorithm is designed to distribute video content far more effectively. Then you need to look at what your spend per day is and I feel that anywhere between $3 per day up to $20 per day would be an ideal budget. So when you're looking at that over a seven day period, it doesn't get too crazy. This is a set and forget campaign we're talking about. We're gonna talk about boosting in a moment because that's completely separate. So ads manager in order to create video content as a set and forget daily campaign spend and adding value to the market through just listed, just sold. It could be testimonials. Uh, it could be your auctions. Uh, it could be you in the field showing that you're adding value to consumers. But either way, ensure that you're setting and forgetting it using ads manager and also linking it through to Instagram as well because it's part of that same meta ecosystem, if you like. So a lot of people in social media industries will tell you that it's very complicated. It's not complicated. In saying that, I don't want to disrespect some social media companies because there are many that do it very, very well, but there's a lot more of them closing down than they are opening at the moment. So if you do have a partner that you're working well with in terms of social media, that's great. And I hope that they're adding value to your business. But what I'm trying to instilled in a lot of people is that it's not always necessary to to have someone else do it for you. You can do it yourself, okay? So get familiar with Ads Manager, have a set and forget daily spend around what you need to be doing, 
and make sure that there's a call to action with it. So the call to action could be you've created a, a funnel, which is how much is my house worth? Therefore, people are engaging with you through WhatsApp or Messenger, or it could be the call button, uh, or it could be a link to your own profile, for example, which has got all your recent sales. But you m must have that link and that call to action. So people are directed somewhere where they can engage with you. That's important. So that's that part of it. Then you have boosting. Now, boosting is completely separate to ads. Boosting is an area where a lot of people think that a lot of money needs to be spent. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that if you created a post on a daily basis and boosted it through Facebook and toggle it through to Instagram and it's video content and you can highly geographically concentrate it within two to five kilometers of your marketplace because the geographical bubble pops up and allows you to do that. And if you can do it for a three to five day period, I think that's plenty. And it obviously depends on your market. So are you working in a concentrated geographical core market or is it slightly expanded? That's where you need to work out the two to five kilometers. In terms of budget, if you can boost it for 50 to $150, anywhere within that range for four or five days, make sure you include some characteristics there as well. So there'll be some global characteristics, which could be interior design, property, uh, finance, whatever it might be. But also with the boosting, you still need to have a call to action around that as well. So the call to action could be to call you directly. It could be a link to your bio as well. Uh, it could be through WhatsApp or Messenger. But some people who are clicking onto Facebook or Instagram because it will filter through need to be able to engage with you. And again, video content is definitely the way to go with that one as well. Short form content is becoming very, very popular. So anywhere between 30 seconds to 90 seconds, I think is ample. Uh, people have a very low attention span. You're dealing with multiple platforms and it's a very competitive space. So we've talked about ads manager for set and forget Facebook advertising. We've talked about boosting. We've talked about uh, daily content. So at least one post per day that is boosted. In terms of just normal posting, so on your personal Facebook page, uh, on LinkedIn, and potentially on Twitter, and potentially on TikTok as well, I think that's all great. And if you are gonna commit to it, on a daily basis, I think is important. So the other question we often get is, you know, should we be doing it ourselves, as I've mentioned, or should we, you know, appoint someone to do it on our behalf? I think you could go to YouTube and understand Ads Manager really, really well. That's probably the most complicated, even though it's not that complicated. Boosting, I think, is easy to understand. And as, again, if you've got someone that's excellent doing it for you, that's great. However, there are unfortunately a lot of charlatans in this space who will literally charge you thousands of dollars per month and the results aren't great to be honest with you and i'm saying this through experience not everyone i know some other agents who are achieving outstanding results with working with some outstanding companies okay so in terms of social media that is as complicated as it needs to be a weekly market wrap i think is ideal as well because again that's adding value to your community in terms of digital marketing that's when you're talking about a different ecosystem which is youtube and google so that's when you're talking about um seos which is search engine optimization and google adwords now that's a very competitive space unless no one else is doing it in your market then I think it's okay. But if you've got multiple people doing it in your market, then it's, a, the, it's up to the person who's gonna spend the most money. So I haven't had a lot of success with it. Uh, you might, but it's something you need to look into to see if it's a competitive space in your market or not. I hope that's helped. Live with virtue and I'll see you next time. God bless.